Welcome, and thank you for joining us today for this TechLinks training video. In this video, we are going to walk through the creation of the VoicePIC code, which is part of the Produce Traceability Initiative, PTI. The VoicePIC code is comprised of three key components, the Global Trade Identification Number, GTIN, the Lot, Batch Number, and the Pack Harvest Date. The VoicePIC code is based on an algorithm and that is part of a feature found in our LabelView and CodeSoft products. Today I will be using our CodeSoft Enterprise 2018 product. So let's get started. On the screen you can see we have a label template uh, that includes the VoicePIC code which is in the bottom right here with the black background and white text. This is available on our techlinks.com site for download so if you have any questions or you just want to start from this um, you can go ahead and download that and use it within our, your product. So right now there's a lot of stuff on the screen. We have our barcode, uh, GS1 barcode, that includes that identification number, G10, as well as the lot number, and some other information surrounding the commodity or variety, pack, weight, grade, and so on and so forth, all part of that product traceability initiative. We also have a pack date of April 29th, which is today's date, and the voice pick code, a small and large. The voice pick code is actually four digits, um, two small on the left and then the two large on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go to a label just to focus in on this component with the black background. So as you can see I already added those fields in, the one under date, which is the voice pick date, and then a couple when printed fields, the G10 and lot number. And those are the three items that we'll need to create the voice pick code. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and select add. And we're going to create a formula and we're going to call this formula voice code. Within our software, under conversion, if you scroll down to voice code, you can go ahead and then insert that voice code. As you can see right here, it's voice code, G10, lot number, date, and then it will return the voice code number. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to put it the actual data. These are just placeholders. Now we're going to put the actual data. I'm just going to start by typing the letter G, and as you can see, this G10 that's over here is now available for me to select. I can do the same for lot number and for voice pick date. So now that I have those on the label, as you can see, 3917, that's the four digit voice code. I'm going to click OK. So now I have all of the data in one spot. So what's my next step is to break that apart. We're going to get the small digits for the left hand side and the two small digits for the right hand side. So I'm going to add another formula. And on here, I'm going to do left. So left is a function that allows me to select a particular string, and I'm going to select this voice code string. And there it is in the list. And I'm going to select 2. And as you can see, that gives me the 3, 9. So this I'm going to call... voice pick small. Click OK. I'm going to do the same thing for the right. I'm going to start by calling this voice pick large. because These will be our large digits. I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to start with right. So this is going to just grab the two right digits off of this voice code. And there's it. There's the 17, so we know those are both good. Now I can go ahead and add these to our label. I'm going to start with the small, and then I will do the large. I'm going to go ahead and just increase the size of the large one right now, so I can tell the difference pretty easily. There we have those. Now I'm going to add the black rectangle for this bottom right corner. So I can go ahead and add that in. I'm going to go to right click and go to properties. 
I'm going to add that black background on it to this image. And now you'd think I'd be able to drag those and place them right onto here. And in fact, um, you got to do one more thing, and that is right clicking on our label and go to the label properties. Once you're in the label properties, you can go to extended and then do Windows Graphical Emulation. Now it's going to give you a warning and it's going to state that some of this will be printed in graphics. Well, we only want this right hand side to be printed in graphics and it does note that if you do utilize printer resident text and barcodes, those will still be sent as printer resident objects. So no worries there, you'll still have the efficiency you're looking for um, outside of the voice pick code. Now before I bring this on to this rectangle, what I want to do is flip the foreground to white and the background to black and click OK. I'm going to do the same for the small voice pick code. You know, white and black and click OK. So before I do bring this on to this rectangle, let me just show you, it doesn't show up. And the reason it doesn't show up is because it's actually set to the background. So before I drag it there, I'm going to bring to front. And now, as you can see, when I bring it into the black box area, it's now visible. And that's how you create a voice pick code in our CodeSoft 2018 label design product. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or visit us on techlinks.com. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.